Thank you for being here. Um, this is a very important day for us as we launch the campaign to oppose, oppose the uh, alcohol tax. I have many reasons why I, I will vote no on number one, and I will let all my neighbors and all my family members um, know why we need to vote no on number one. Um, alcohol has affected our families, my family, in a very uh, devastating way since um, since I was a very young, a little girl, I grew up uh, with a family that was afflict afflicted by addiction. My father was an alcoholic, and that's how I grew up seeing how alcohol had devastated our, you know, the whole, the whole um, family. Um, by the age of 16, I took my first drink, and by 21, I was a full-bloom alcoholic. I had left school at the age of 16 as well and went to work in the shoe factories. And um, pretty much my whole youth was wasted into alcoholism. I didn't know that I was suffering from an illness though. I thought that it was um, a character defect. I thought it was just something that was expected from me being who I was and growing up where I grew up and being of low income. I thought that this is who I was supposed to be. And for many years, um, the sadness that I had in my heart and my soul just kept me drinking more and trying other drugs because I wanted to escape my reality. Um, thankfully, the programs that were available, that still are available, um, saved my life. Um, at 29, I picked up the yellow pages and I, I found the Atcare Hospital number and I called them up. And that was my first treatment. That was um, when I was 29. And after that, it took me, I was in and out of treatment for about seven more years until 1994. I've been sober and I've been in recovery for 15 years. Thank you. I am very proud of that. Um, and proud is in the word. Uh, I don't think it has nothing to do with pride. I am so fortunate, I feel like I am so blessed because I really, really thought that I had no, um, no escape. I couldn't escape that addiction. I, did, I wasn't powerful enough, but I kept trying and I went in and out of treatment, in and out of treatment until finally one day something happened um, at a very important time in my life at the birth of my youngest daughter. Her name is Evie um, and that's when the miracle happened. Um, now today I work in the field. I am a licensed substance abuse counselor. I went back to school, I got my GED. I have some college, I'm thinking of going back to college. I am 52 and I'm alive, which is awesome. I didn't think I was gonna make it. I'm very happy about that. I have three wonderful daughters. Unfortunately, alcoholism hasn't left my family yet. It's still there. It's a disease that we kind of pass it down to our children. And my oldest daughter is an alcoholic today and suffers from mental health illness as well. Um, but she is on her way of finding recovery. I know she will. She's been in treatment and she's considering treatment. So that's a plus. Um, today I work for more. And um, with this campaign, I am going to be working in many communities. We're going to be encouraging and educating people about the importance of voting. So we're going to have help people register for voting and explain to them how the you know how the legislators how the legislators work I'm sorry I couldn't say that word um, but you know Marianne is teaching me I have a long way to go but I have a great mentor she's a wonderful teacher and I love her energy and everyone that's here presently I you know you guys empower me to continue this fight because today I know that I am not alone and that addicts, you know, people that suffer from alcoholism and addiction are important. And we need, we need to vote no on number one. We need to keep these fundings in place. And I know that we will defeat this. We will win. Thank you so much. Thank you.